Hey everybody, it's Joseph here for Zenny62. A quick video. I just finished watching an interview press conference with uh, Mike Mayock. Uh, he did earlier today. And it was interesting because they're doing a roundtable forum in terms of uh, having writers and journalists ask him questions. So the second question posed to him was by ESPN's Paul Gutierrez, and uh, which was a great question. The question was that he has previously cr criticized other teams uh, for taking a big reach for a player. And in my opinion, that's exactly what he did with pick number 19. And if you did see the NFL draft pre uh, show here on Zenny 62, I think it's safe to say every panelist that was on there agreed the same. And so, of course, Mike Mayock, as well as he's done in the past and, and for all his accolades he's had as a, a TV analyst, you know, we have a general manager who thinks he's never wrong. And, of course, he justified his pick by stating that he wanted to take the God that he wanted before anybody else did. Now, that's a fair statement, but let's take this into consideration. From 19 to 32, there were only two cornerbacks taken. Uh, Noah Igbenahani, or I can't pronounce his last name, but uh, from Auburn. And you had Jeff Gladney. Now, those were the only two cornerbacks taken, and that was at 30 and 32. If anybody else had Damon Ardett in the radar, don't you think it would have been taken after 19 and at 32? Obviously, they didn't. So that's one criticism I have is that I don't think Arnett, and like I said, this has less to do with Arnett the player as opposed to Mike Mayock's reach for this player. No one had Arnett in the first round, maybe not even in the second round. Uh... And proof of that is when the opportunity was there to take a cornerback, most people took Noah from Auburn or Gladney. And obviously they were highly rated as opposed to Arnett, who was rated in the mid to late 60s. So why make the reach? Especially when you had Mike Mayock already, not necessarily complaining, but stating that his spots where he likes to pick is from 20 to 60. And the fact that you already had mentioned your complaint that you don't have any round two picks, the obvious question was why not trade back number 19 and get your number two pick or number two picks, late two picks. It, it just doesn't make any sense. And to justify that pick because you can't be wrong or because you kind of pulled the trigger in the wrong time, and according to him, it was rated on their system. Well, what system is that? You, you don't have to divulge how you come up with the system, but at least explain what your system is. So I, I'm not buying it. It's disappointing the number 19 pick, especially when you have an opportunity to get round two picks. So again, just to reiterate, it's not about necessarily criticizing Arnett. It's mainly criticizing that reach at number 19. So... In less than an hour, we're going to go into round two, and let's see what that brings us. And uh, like I said, we would have had picks in number 19. I mean, at, in round two, if we traded down for 19. So we'll see what happens, and uh, keep you here at Zenny 62.